Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got back into the game. We learned that Koromaru is going to be joining our party and we learned that we have to go through summer school, which if this was real life would be incredibly discouraging. But since this is a game and we don't have a lot of things to do during summer vacation, it's actually pretty cool. Plus we do need to work on our academics, so it actually is kind of helpful here. Starting off this episode, I'm going to go ahead and ask about requests, request? because, well, first of all, we can report something here. I'd like to see proof of a bond. Most excellent. Oh, now, it seems you've already report. completed this request. One moment, please, while I check it. So this is proof of one of your bonds. Though it's made out of ordinary material, I can sense some sort of warmth from Marvelous. it. You have nurtured a beautiful bond, a precious, irreplaceable bond. Please take this as your reward. Space badge. No idea what it does. But yeah, we now have a bunch of new side quests that we could go ahead and accept. Uh, retrieve the fifth old document. You know, pretty standard. Create a persona that's level 38 or above. Exactly what it says on the tin. Perform King and I. That's a fusion spell that we can't do at the moment, but I'm sure we'll be able to do later. Quest is meant to draw up more of your power, the power of the wild card. Special fusion, one involving the king of all Jack Frost's King Frost and his darling subordinates. It is a rather daunting challenge, but I await your report of success. Bring me Otenta Mitsuyo. I believe that's something... Actually, that's something we could buy from the antique shop. That's not something we could get from Tartarus. Or maybe we can get it from Tartarus, but it's best to get it from the antique shop. I'd like to try a home-cooked meal. Allegedly, something called a home-cooked meal, which possesses a special kind of flavor, exists in your world. I'm curious to what it tastes like. Very much so. Could you bring me something with the flavor of this home-cooked meal? It could be either food or beverage. I've no preference. Well then, I'll be looking forward to it. Attempt a hundred shrine visits. Holy crap, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Uh... We have the ritual called the hundred shrine visits that supposedly grants wishes. I would love to witness the miracle of the gods myself, however I cannot abandon my duties here, so would you please visit the shrine on my behalf? As for my wish, 500 yen bills are extremely rare in your world, yes? Then I'd like to wish for one. I, I misunderstood what that meant. It's not going to the shrine a hundred times. Uh, it's something else that we'll get to in a sec. Uh, look for the drink with my name. I've come across a rumor I cannot dismiss. Apparently, my name is being used somewhere without my knowledge or consent. According to the rumor, this beverage is only available in an unpopular spot. Please conduct a thorough investigation of this beverage, as it concerns my reputation. Uh, I'd like to try Aojiru. Word has it that the ultimate drink in your world is something called Aojiru. However, the taste is described as super gross. How intriguing indeed. After all, if I am to drink something, I would like for it to taste good. Therein lies my request. Would you please look for a delicious Aojiru for me? I wish to become a straw millionaire. You must know. Have you ever heard of the story about the straw millionaire? It is the story of a man who becomes wealthy after continuously bartering one item for another. I would like to see if such a fee is possible in reality. Thus, I have prepared this bandage wrap for you. Please use this bandage wrap as your first bargaining chip and trade it for something satisfactory. So that's all of the quests that we could do right now. Let's go ahead and uh, try some of them out. Oh, apparently there's something we could actually... About requests. Or no, uh, hand over your cooking. So we need to get food from hanging out with someone. Uh, so I think since we did Yukari's hangouts, we can go ahead and do this. It appears you have what I believe a home-cooked meal. Oh, we have a ton of these apparently. <laughs> um, I don't know what, I don't know if any of these like work as healing items. So I'll just go with the first one on the list. I believe this is the first time I've ever had this, yet this flavor tastes rather nostalgic. I see, so this is what a home-cooked meal is. I believe I now understand why people crave the taste of home cooking. Thank you very much for sharing this culinary delight. Please take this as your reward. Legendary Cleaver. Do you need anything else? Uh, no, we should be good here. Nope, apparently not. About requests. Oh, available. I'd like to see a mysterious potato. To think of it. Heard a rumor that a potato grown with painstaking love and care will develop a mysterious power. I believe that you can obtain the proper seeds to grow such potatoes from a shop that deals in plants. Would you please grow and nurture a potato to verify the authenticity of these claims? So next time the, uh, what's it called? Next time the flower shop is open, we'll have to buy some seeds for some potatoes. Oh, we actually have a potato. Never mind. Completely forget what I said. I sense an unusual power emanating from you. Do you perhaps have one of the potatoes you have grown? 
a Tarakaja potato. What a truly bizarre potato. I can sense an unusual power radiating from it. I imagine it would make a rather appealing meal. Very nice, Elizabeth. Why are you giving me such a strange look? In any case, the request is now completed. Please take this as your reward. Do you need anything else? Do you have any more requests? Nope, doesn't look like anything, so now I think I can finally walk away. So I never really used the antique shop. So I don't know if I'll be able to make the Otenta Mitsuyo. Great find that the owner there's been collecting gemstones. Yes. Alright. By the way, I believe I've mentioned before, but um this the voice actor for this character is the original voice actor for Yukari. Um, since all of the voice actors were replaced in the remake, you know, they decided to, as Easter eggs, have a couple of the characters be played by the old voice actors. I have no idea how any of this works, so I'm gonna come back in a later episode after I've looked up how to do any of this. So I guess we're moving on for now. Do I...? I, I don't have access to the shrine at this point, so we'll have to do the shrine side quest during the day. I also don't have access to the back alley, so we can't get the, uh the drink that Elizabeth wanted us to get. We can't do anything right now at nighttime, so I guess we've got to either hang out with Tanaka, which I'm going to save till later, or we can up our social stats. So I guess we're up in our social stats. Actually, you know what? Can we hang out with anyone here? Because we could probably just do that. Akihiko, how are you doing? Heavyweight champ, who may many consider to be the greatest. I bring the TV recording of it onto a DVD a while ago, and I suddenly feel like watching it again. That's something that people haven't done in a while, burning, like, DVDs and stuff like that. Listening with excitement. So yeah, with this, Sonata will gain a new ability, so let's watch it. Yes. Alright. Today we're gonna see some of the greatest matches the champs have ever- Hmm? And here we are with the first match of the qualifiers. In the red corner we have Akihiko Sanada-kun from Gekko-kan High it's School. Me. This is footage from my first official match. My coach from back then recorded it for me. Ah, sorry, looks like I put on the wrong video. Uh, let me switch it out. No, 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 I want to see this. Hey, come on. It's not that interesting. But, I guess this might be a good opportunity. Uh, let's watch it. Uh, I look so stiff and nervous. My form is all over the place. Uh, how did I even win this? At least I can tell I've improved since then. Here's where I get my life straight in. And the winner is Sonata <laughs> from Check the out my red face. corner! I'm trying to look calm. But on the inside, I can barely contain myself. I know I said before that I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands. But this might actually be why I stuck with boxing. This victory gave me confidence. I wasn't so stiff in any of my later matches. Are you the type to get nervous in front of a bunch of people like that? I'd say so. Well, that's a surprise. You don't seem like you let the small things bother you. But I guess you're good at not letting your weakness show, huh? I've learned a lot from boxing. But there's a strict rule I follow when it comes to winning. Find your opportunity, then strike without hesitation. It's easy enough to remember, but hard to apply. You could say the same thing about fighting shadows, too. I've always tried to keep those words in mind. But now I'll be even more conscious of them. Sonata seems to have found new potential within himself after watching the DVD. Buff Amp. Greatly increases the effects of buffs on self. That is awesome. You know, I never thought you'd see me like that. But it did help remind me how I felt when I was starting out. Anyway, sorry you had to sit through that. I'll save the champion matches for next time. I feel like my courage has improved. I mean, not really, because it's already maxed out, but you know what? We got some new stuff with Sonata, so I'm fine with that. Now we move on to round two of the qualifiers. In the red corner, Akihiko Sonata oh, well. from Gekko Khan here, High School. Want to watch some more before we go to sleep?
It's almost time for the home shopping show. All right. Oh, we have quite a few things we could do today. But more importantly, like the most important thing I want to do, uh, sorry, Maya, but we're not going to be hanging out with you, um, is there's going to be a new Link episode with Junpei today. So we'll get to that in just a second. Let's check out the home shopping show first, because that's not going to pass any time. Isotope soda. Not bad, Mad kid. Bull. 20 Mad Bulls. No, nope, honestly, that's... That's kind of a steal. So I'm going to buy it. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Alright. Don't have any anything else I want to do today. Other than, is there anyone who, can, who I can talk to? Yeah, definitely here, so... Everyone's down here, except for Yukari and Junpei. They must be either somewhere out in the town or up in their rooms. I've heard that, that Koromaru-san's persona is Cerberus. That's incredibly fitting. This being, this being appears in Greek mythology as the watchdog of the underworld. Considering how Koromaru-san was guarding the shrine alone for quite some time, it suits him perfectly. Hey, that's what I just Let's said. See. It must be easier ta taking Koromaru on walks with all the nights being cool this time of year. Dogs can't regulate their body heat by sweating, you see, so remember to keep an eye on him. <laughs> I wonder if Koro-chan is enjoying dorm life. I really hope he'll get used to it and then come to love it one day. Oh, right. This is Koromaru's new home, isn't it? It's gonna be a lot of fun with him around. Sports and school work the same. No matter how strong you are, those who don't put in the effort fail. It's the same with school. If you don't study, you won't pass your tests. Kari, you there? Doesn't seem to be in a room. You know, we have a lot of side quests that we could do here, so... First of all, let's go to the shrine. Oh, hey, what do you have to say? I've got a scoop. These incidents all started with the, that god and the shrine's curse. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Uh, that sounds cool. You're funny. But that's very open-minded of you. I'm impressed. Uh, oh, we've also got Kamiki here. He's very rare, but you know what? Linked episodes are incredibly missable, so... I'm staying strong in my resolve to... Make sure I don't accidentally miss out on this. Ask me to find a 500 yen bill by visiting the, shr the shrine a hundred times. Maybe I should pray before I go. No sign of prayer being answered, maybe I'll try again later. Okay, so we're gonna try again later, meaning we'll come back on a different day and hopefully everything will be fixed. Let's head to Port Island Station. Because I think there's a uh, fetch quest we could sort of do here. Yeah, we have that. We also have... Kaysera Sera? Kesera Sera, something like that. Your voice is from below. Whoa, not bad. I bet this will be popular. Should we go down the stairs and enter? Sure. Sorry, we're not open yet. Hey, aren't you still in high school? You're not supposed to be here. Bartender keeps staring at me. I wonder if it's because of my charm. Hmm, you look like you. Hmm, you look like you've been around the block a time or two. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Can you try this new cocktail I whipped up? Oh, don't worry. There's no alcohol in it. It's my own little concoction for customers who can't drink alcohol. I'm hoping to expand our clientele, you see. Cheers. I guess I'll try the non-alcoholic cocktail. It's the perfect balance between sweet and sour. It has a refreshing, f refreshing flavor. I hope it doesn't have a refreshing flavor. Yeah. So what do you think? Good, huh? Uh, not bad. Right? I knew you'd like it. Tell you what. I'll give you a bottle of it on the house. I'm gonna go catch some Ziggies. Come back when you're illegal, and I'll let you try the good stuff. Queen Elizabeth. So yeah, this is the drink that Elizabeth was after earlier. Uh, this guy also has a side quest for us. Damn it. That stings pretty bad. Just my freaking luck, huh? I don't know why I'm doing dick gumshoe for this. The hell you want? Can't you see I'm not really in the mood for talking right now? Wait, what do you got there? Bandages? Yeah. Perfect timing. Can I have them? Let's give them to him. Thanks, man. Oof. Well, that should work for now. Mm, feeling like I will bunk like you doesn't sit right with me. You're a student. You're a student, right? Guessing GeckoCon, if you're from around here. Here. I'm not thanking you or nothing, but you could take this. I picked it up over at the station. Not like it's worth anything to me anyways. Student handbook. So I think the next place we have to go is... Uh... Port Island Station. There should be someone ra around here who uh, we can hand this to. Where are they? There you are. I see that blue exclamation mark. Uh, oh man, this is bad. What did I drop my student handbook? Uh, do you need something? I'm a little busy now. Hey, wait, that handbook you're holding. Can I see that student handbook? I was just looking for mine. 
this might be it. It is mine. Ugh, thanks, you saved me. Oh yeah, it is the thank you. Here, take this. Irresistible catnip. I got this for free when I was shopping at the Aohige Pharmacy, but I don't own a cat. Anyway, if you have no use for it, just give it to one of the cats at the strip mall. That seems like a fair enough assessment. We've seen a few stray cats, you know, hanging around here, so surely there's going to be at least one over here. Oh, hey, Junpei, there you are. But yeah, I think we have to talk to Cat Loving Boy over here. I tried putting on cat ears, but the cat still won't look at me. Maybe if I had a cat toy, but I don't think I have, I have enough to buy one. Oh, is that a cat toy? Do you have a pet cat? Uh, nope, you can have this. I can? Thanks. I should give you something in exchange. Oh, I know. You can have this cat ear headband. I don't, I don't need it anymore. Here you go. So we got that. Maybe Elizabeth would like this headband. So before we go ahead and talk to Junpei, I'm going to run back over to the Velvet Room and make sure we trade the stuff in. Because we got two side quests done today, which is pretty dang good. Oh my, what is this delightful item? I cannot resist the urge to put it on. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Meow. I see. Wearing this will transform you into a cat in the blink of an eye. Thank you for this lovely gift. Now I too can be a straw millionaire. Please take this as your reward. 20 turquoise. That's probably something to do with the, uh, what's it called, the antique shop? I see, so this is the beverage that bears my name. It does indeed say Elizabeth on the label, and there is a very lovely, very rich aroma. If I am to be honest, it does make me feel a little prideful. I'll take some time to enjoy it later. Please take this as your reward. One AS generic material. I'm sure whenever I figure out how to use the antique shop, this stuff will be awesome. I'm not necessarily going to get all of her side quests done because I think like one of her final side quests is like insanely, like impossibly difficult. But I've, I at the very least want to see all of her hangouts. In the original Persona 3, it was a bit different, where instead of hanging out after doing a certain number of side quests, the side quests were completely optional and just gave you items. And you could just do her hangouts like, you'd have to talk to her at specific times during the month, but if you missed out on them, you missed out on them for the rest of the game, which sucked. Uh, so in this game, they changed that by making the side quests more like important, make you want to do them a bit more, and locking Elizabeth's whole social link, not really social link, but just hangouts behind those. With all of this out of the way, we spent the entire episode, like, on this one day. But now it's time to hang out with Junpei Iori. Some summertime fun. If you spend your vacation doing nothing, summer will be over before you know it. Listen, man, you gotta help me with my crazy genius idea. So hurry and haul your ass up to the strip mall. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. You see my message? The one about my great idea? I was thinking about carrying it out. Hell yeah, you know what's up. Okay then, I'm gonna go buy the thing we need. Just wait here for me. That's one magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him in the dorm. And man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> I can already see the look on his face. He'll be like, Junpei san, you're super cool and you're super nice. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. And there it is. And you know what that means? I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you know, oh boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. Ah, yes. Today's shaping up to be a glorious day. It's such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Come on, we're bored. Hey, don't make it sound like we have nothing better to do. Eh, but I guess we really don't, huh? Come on, let's have some fun. Well, when you put it that way, 
Maybe just for a little bit. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. I didn't forget about you. All right. What are we waiting for? The youngest gets to draw first blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. That's news to me. Well, I must have never had a chance to talk about it. But that I used to play baseball. I mean, anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Ah, uh, well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Koromar is trying to tell us something. Hey, come on, Koromaru! We can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? What do you want to use? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata-san used his bare hands? Someone say my name? Whoa, Sonata-san. <laughs> well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon splitting, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bat? We want you to use your fists. My fists? On this? Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! That's okay, right, Junpei-san? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. Alright. Guess I'd better make this good then. Hey, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. Whoa! Sonata-san, you're incredible! What? What? What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? I believe that thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod at one. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole back then. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. It's still a start. <laughs> Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? Come on. I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault, dude. Uh, how the hell do I put it? Uh, this is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life. My teenage years, it's just all over the place. Anyway, I think we're done for today, yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. I feel like my charm is improved. I do really like to see these moments where Junpei just gets to be more, you know, human. We get to actually see how he feels and thinks and stuff like that. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? He'll be fine. That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. 
If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Koro-chan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl, awaiting me by the shoreline. The city or the shores, pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata-senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh! Maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. Ah. <laughs> All right, those last two puns yes. I wasn't really sold on, but you know, the evoker and the shots one, that was a great joke. Just talking with everyone about Koromaru. Uh, he'll need to be taken on walks, but we won't be assigning that duty to anyone in particular. If it would help if you could if you could take Koromaru out for a walk at night, if it seems he wants to go for one. There's another thing we get to do. Is? Where the hell is he? Uh, is he not here? Are they gonna tell me I could do something and then- Oh, no, there he is! We can actually take Koromaru on walks, which is something I want to do in the next episode. But before we do that, I want to go to the rooftop. We saw it in the cutscene. Where did it go? Oh! Okay, that was one of my questions. We saw that door back there in that cutscene. Where the hell did that- I was thinking, where did- I was thinking, where the hell does that door lead? But obviously, right there, rooftop storage. So that's my questions answered. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and take Koromaru out on a walk. We're also gonna seemingly start summer school. I know that I mentioned last time we were gonna start that. But this time we're going to actually start that because it took me like an entire episode to get through one day. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!